Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Great, Ovidio. Nice to see you. That you're doing great. Hi, yeah. Patrice. Good evening. Hi, it is good, good evening, evening, everyone. Good evening, Sarai, Catherine, and Jahida. Hi. Hey. So good I see evening. I have new students, right? You guys, some of you are new students, right? Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So how's your How's your quarantine so far? Well, I've been working, so mm. some days I've been home office and other. I love to at the ingenium. Ah, okay, okay. At the coffee, it's a coffee meal, right? Or is it a sugar no, meal? No, sugar meal. Ah, okay, the sugar meal. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Sarai, good evening. How are you? Nice to meet you, Sarai. I think you're in mute. I think you're in mute. So there's a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's sorry, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, nice to meet you too. Where do you work? What do you do? Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, sorry. Tell us a little bit about you. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about you. A little bit. Where do you work? Oh, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm a teacher. Nice. Science teacher, math teacher. What type of teacher are you? Math teacher. Math. In, oh, okay. Math in okay. high school. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Very good. Well, nice meeting you. For those of you who, this is our first time. My name is Bea Salaverria. I have been with you, with some of you since Intermediate 1, others Intermediate 2, and now Intermediate 3, okay? Jahaira, nice to meet you too. Hi, nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Where do you work? Okay, I'm an air traffic controller and I work in Rio Pango Airport. Okay, okay, nice. So you guys are working. You're not in quarantine at home, right? No. You guys are working. Everybody's working. Okay, okay, good. Well, nice meeting you. Pablo and Antonio, good evening. How are you guys? Hey, um, yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm really cool. I'm, I am so excited to be part of this and I want to learn more. So Great. And nice to meet you too. Likewise, Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, Please. I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, sure. So nice to meet you. My name is Antonio and I'm also an air traffic controller, but at uh, the El Salvador International Airport. Wow, so Ilopango and we are like in opposite. So we have some, some from Ilopango and some from, okay, so you guys are working, right? Yeah, we're still going to the airport. Ah, uh, okay. Well, be safe and sound, okay? Be safe and sound means be careful, like be safe, but be, you know, have fun and just enjoy as well, okay? Okay, guys, well, good evening to everybody. I'm happy that you guys are here. Claudia, good evening. I see you there. Um, well, th for those of you who already know me, know the, the dynamic. I work in a different way. The idea is for you to be able to communicate, and I pick some of the topics from the platform. But I would like to go ahead and share with you, okay? Um, let's go to the platform. So you guys have an idea of what you're going to be looking at, right? You go into English Corporativo, online.englescorporativo.net. Do you guys have access already to the platform, all of you? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Have you started working yeah. on the platform or not yet? Yes, teacher. Yes, <laughs> Super. No, Make me yet. proud, okay? I'm, I have been very proud of this group, and I, and I want to tell also... The new guys, I want to feel super proud of you. So please 
work on your platform. Try to finish it within these four weeks, okay, or 16 sessions. That way we can enroll to the next one and you don't lose track of the intermediate lessons, okay? So as you can see here, I have been assigned English Intermedio Modulo 3. So I click on it and I have all the different tabs of the exercises that I need to be working on. One of the things that I like about this is that it, you can actually keep track by checking your progress. You have a progress here that you can actually check, okay? And you can check if you're doing your, it tells you if you're doing your activities, if you're halfway through, it gives you like a little graph. Everybody should be here, okay, for all the different activities. A pass with 80%, okay? You should be there. Um, also, what else, what else, what else? Well, you have different lessons, so make sure that you, you will actually get a check as well here. As you can see, I have already done some of them. I'm trying to do them this time. I usually don't do them. Shame on me. I should do them too, like you. I should be a, I should be a responsible student too. So today, for example, even if the topic we're not going to talk about through our sessions, okay, some of the topics might not be or might not go according to your progress. So don't worry. If you want to go ahead, you don't have to stick with me, okay? You can always go ahead in the topics and then I'm just gonna go back and pick some topics that I consider it, that will help you and do different exercises. For example, today, we're gonna be taking a look at a passive with buy. So today we have a little presentation with passive with buy. Have you guys done this activity already or not? Not yet. Not yet. Yes, teacher. Not yet. I did it. Okay, you did it? Okay. Do you guys, can you guys see my PowerPoint presentation? Yeah. Okay, yeah. super, okay, super. So, what is passive voice? What can you tell me about passive voice? Ton, ton, ton. Passive and active. way to express an idea in different ways. Wait. Okay, maybe it's a way to express an idea in, diff in a different way, okay. Anybody else? Is I think is other way to to say something sometimes, and that depends on what what we want to say or we want to express with with every with everyone. Super, you're so right, and actually you guys are right. It's simple. Just think of the word passive, active. Passive, it's the action is being done, right? It's passive. It's not a direct action. And active, somebody's doing the action. It's as simple as that. Passive, the action is done by somebody. Okay? And we use the connector by. And in active, it's somebody's doing the action directly. Okay? Now, if, for example, here, active voice. We have, which is not what we're going to be talking about, but the active voice is the subject of the sentence. And it's the person or thing we're talking about. So it's a direct action. When the subject does something, we use active voice. Okay. <clears throat> For example, people sell good luck flowers. Okay. You know, people sell good luck flowers, those flowers that look like that have four leaves. Like we call them in Spanish, I think, treboles, right? The good luck flowers. Those are the good luck flowers. Um, okay, so that is an example. People sell good luck flowers. So the action is being done, okay? It's a direct action. Nobody's people are people, which is our subject. It's our door, okay? It's the main of the sentence. And then we have the verb, which is the active verb. Always for uh, active voice, you will have, we have passive verbs, but we also have active verbs, okay? In this case, sell is an active verb. And then we have good luck flowers, which is our, who is receiving the action, okay? That is for active voice. On the other hand, we have passive voice when the subject is not the door, okay, or the main of the action. That's what it means, door, like the main of the action. We put the receiver of an action as a subject. Okay, for example, good luck flowers are sold by people. Do you remember the other sentence? Versus this one? So this is done by people. That's when it becomes passive, when we use by. So we, if you notice, we change the structure of the sentence to make it passive, okay? So we change the subject, we turn it into a passive verb, 
okay, by saying are sold. We're not selling them anymore. We're not doing the direct action, but we're saying that they are sold by people, okay, which is our door at, in this case. So it's different, okay? So one is active and the other one's passive. That's the main difference, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, what's the structure of passive voice? Well, it's simple. It's formed by the verb be plus the past participle. For example, for collect, what would be our what would be your passive for collect? If we're, we're saying that it's the verb be plus the past participle of the verb. Collective. Verse. Very good. But we need to Collective. add the, we need to add the the a auxiliary per se or the verb be next to it. So it would be okay. it's okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Collected, but we're missing something right there. We need the verb be. It's mm -hmm. the verb be plus past participle. Past participle. For example, depending on who are we talking about, the verb be can become an auxiliary. So in this case, it becomes an auxiliary. It can be is or are plus the past tense of the verb. So collect, mm -hmm. it's active. Passive is are collected or is collected. When do we use is? Do you guys remember? When do we use is? For he, for third persons only. For, for he, third person. Only for third persons. Uh, Excellent. Mm -hmm. Only for third persons. Yeah. He, she, or it. And are for the rest, the plurals, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. what about perform? What about the verb perform? In present? Oh, mm -hmm. It's in present. What would be the passive of perform? Performed? Performed? No. Uh huh. Yes, very good. Remember mm -hmm. that. And this is a tip. This is a golden rule I have. Ah, that. Yes. When you have. Verbs, is performing. When you have verbs that end in ed in the past, you never mm -hmm. pronounce the ed. So you never say love it or mm -hmm. um or or collect. Well, it not even collected. It's collected. So the verbs, when they finish in ED, you have to omit the sound of the ED and they can finish in T, in ID, or in D. Okay, so in this case, it's not performed, but performed. Okay, so we never pronounce that E eh, like in Spanish, so never perform it or uh -huh. so it would be is or are performed. Very good. Okay. Now for our next one, what about decorate? Decorate. What's the past? Decorate. Decorated. Very good. Decorated. Decorated. So Decorated. if you cannot make the end, like end, what I suggest is you put your chin up. So in a way, you're making an effort with this part. So that way you don't say it, decorated, but you say it, decorated. So, oh, decorated. You know, you're, like, you're struggling here that you cannot decorated. steal it. Decorated. decorated. Very good. So you decorated. do that. Decorated. 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 Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Decorated. Decorated. Uh -huh. Very good. Remember, decorated. English is very fresa. English is very fresa. It's very <laughs> sassy, right? So we have to exaggerate <laughs> the sounds. We have to be super fresa for English, okay? We have to be very sassy. Okay, next one, light. It's the active. What's the passive for light? Pick a guess. That's fine. It's okay if you make mistakes. Here it's okay. We're all learning, okay? So don't worry. No, but I can't hear, I, I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. I can't, but what it would be the passive for light in this case? Like. Light? What would be light is the active, so the passive would be lit. So here uh, we have yes, lit. lit. Alumbrar. Irregular. From, so this one is irregular. So light, but the passive would be the pass. Passive is lit. So in this one, in this case, lit. it's not a Regular, it's irregular, okay? I, it, 
Like the second one, sweep. Like the next one, sweep, which is barrer. So the passive or the past participle is swept. Swamp. Swamp. Swept. 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 And the last one, burn. Okay, burn. It's the past participle of it is burnt. Okay. Burnt. 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 Very good. Let's do the pronunciation for the verbs really quick in the past participle. Okay. Let's do it together. Collected. 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 Very good. Performed. 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 The e becomes e, so it's pre preformed. Okay. Preformed. Performed. Performed. Very Performed. Good. Performed. Decorated. 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 Excellent. Next one. Lit. 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 And remember, when you have words with one vowel, you extend the vowel. Okay? So you say lit. You don't say lit. 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 You extend lit. that. Like, like lit. 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 two eyes there. Lit. Very good. Lit. lit. Swept. 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 And the last one, the O becomes O. So in this case, the letter U becomes O. So it's burnt. 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 Okay, very good. Burnt. Okay, so let's do a little practice. Um, people eat mooncakes at Meat Autumn Festival. This is active. Can you make the passive for this one? Can you try to make the passive? Changing the structure of the sentence and using by. Mm. Try. Can you change it to pa this is active? This is an active sentence. Let's try to make this sentence passive. How would it be? How would it go? <clears throat> Try using by and passive. Okay, I'll help you out with this one. I'll help you out with this one, okay? So, please moon say us. Mooncakes, and we change it mm -hmm. to past participle, are eaten. You can say by people or just mm -hmm. eaten at mid autumn festival. Okay, so we're changing the structure. We're saying that the mooncakes, okay, this becomes our subject, are eaten. So we change from direct eat to are eaten because mooncakes are in plural, so we have to use are, are eaten at we could we can uh, we can add by people, or you can either add or not add it by people. We already know. At mid-autumn festival, which is our predicate, or what we're talking about, okay? Let's do another one. Okay. Try to do this one, okay? This is my, I was giving you a little hint, but try to do this one so you can practice. People, okay, I think okay. this is in the Philippines or, I know, in, in China. People sweep, remember we're talking about barrer, sweep. Graves, which are tumbas. Excuse me, with teacher. Rooms. Yes. Uh, yeah. Are we supposed to be looking at your screen because I, I don't, I, I cannot see anything. Ah, okay. Can. Is it only you or everybody? I, I, I you can. Guys. I can see that the 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 page where the oh, okay. of Inglés Intermedio. Okay. Let me share it with you again. Can you see it now? No. no. Okay. Not yet. Let me do it again. Screen. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes, we can yeah. see you. Okay, let me go back. Were you able to yes. see all these screens or no? Yes. Were you able to see all of them? Yes. Passive voice, active voice. This once you were able to see them. Yes. Okay. Okay, so going back, let me go back to the exercise. 
So these are the verbs. Okay, I will call, I will share this presentation with you. Okay, through WhatsApp. At the end at the end of the class, I usually share material through WhatsApp. If you all are you all in the WhatsApp group? Are yes. you guys in the WhatsApp group? Okay, so we have yes. a WhatsApp group from English. Yes. Group. So I'll be sharing material and pages where you can work on the exercises aside from the platform, okay? The idea is for you to practice more if you continue, if you find yourself finished with all the activities from the platform, then you have additional resources to work on or practice, okay? So I, I will share the presentation at the end of the class. Okay? Mm -hmm. So okay. we were talking about this. People eat mooncakes at mid-autumn festival. So this is the active way. If we pass it to passive, then we change and we use mooncakes as our subject, are eaten because they are, this is passive, this is active. Okay? Yes. At mid, and then we had the second one, which was people sweep graves with brooms at Qingming Festival. Okay. Sweep, remember it was barrer. Mm -hmm. Graves with brooms. Okay, grave is tumba, brooms is covas. Graves and, are sweep. Great. Are swept. Swap. Are swept. Mm -hmm. With brooms at Chine Ming Festival. Okay, very good. Graves are swept. It's horrible. It's a very horrible. Good. No. It's okay, but you try it. That's super good. Okay, excellent. Uh, I, I need to practice. Okay. So, excellent. Graves are swept with brooms. By people, you can add by people, that's optional. You can add or not add. That's why it's in parentheses. It's up to you if you want to add it or not. It's not necessary. Um, at Ching Ming Festival. Very good. Excellent job. Next one. People light lanterns at mid-autumn festivals. What would be the passive? Lanterns. Lanterns are lit. 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 Mm -hmm. By at the mid people. at the mid autumn festival. Autumn. Remember that that oh, is all autumn. 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 Like umbrella, it's umbrella. Umbrella. So it's uh, all okay, autumn. Autumn festivals. Excellent. Uh, it's up. It's good. Lanterns are lit at mm -hmm. mid autumn mm -hmm. festivals. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we have a little game here. Let's do it together okay. since we are a big group. Okay. Hey. People sweep graves. It's active. So passives is the passive way of this would be graves. Are swept. Swept. Are swept. swept. Excellent. Swept. Graves are swept. are swept. Very good. Next one. People buy some flowers. So my passive is. Uh, some flowers, some are, flowers bought. are bought. Very good because it's bought. plural. Are bought. Remember, oh, bought. Are bought. Hmm? Bought. bought. Some flowers are bought. Excellent. Some flowers, flowers are bought. Are bought. Sorry, but yeah. my my little girl is asking about the pronunciation of flowers. 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 Oh. Thank Flower. you. I really appreciate Flowers. it. Okay. Flowers. Flowers. Yes. Not flowers, but flowers. Remember, flowers. because it's very fresa, so you have to exaggerate the sound. Uh, flowers. Hello. <laughs> I know. Wow. English is like that. Yes. <laughs> it's really difficult to me. I really rule. I will give you, I will share some resources, okay, with you guys that I shared in the past. It, which is the American accent training and by the way tomorrow we're gonna have a little pronunciation exercise and I always tell students in advance have a bottle of water because pronunciation it demands a lot of using your your and exercise it's like going to the gym but for your mouth so you have to you have to hydrate yourself with water okay no soda water okay. it will help you with pronunciation uh, so we will me. help <laughs> No soda, but we will have exercises, okay? That way you guys can practice. Tomorrow we're gonna have one, so have your water bottle with you handy, okay? Okay, so continuing. Okay. Miss Lee paints a picture. So passive would be a picture. Is painting. 
painted. 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 painted by Miss Lee. Very good. It's painted by Miss Lee. Next one. The brother make a cake. There's a mistake here, by the way. Make it. Okay. It's making. Make. Okay. It's made. 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 A cake is made. made by the brother, but made. there is a. There is a mistake. Can you find the mistake in the first sentence? Can you find? There's a mistake here. Can you tell me what the mistake bake is? Bake a cake. Make in, bake in a the, cake. In the verb, make, uh, make, we have to put make. makes. Make. Why, with, why makes? With us. Because why? it's third person. Excellent. Good yeah. job. Because we're talking about a third person. Very good. Uh huh. That's yes. right. Yes. So, yeah. a cake is made by. My brother. So there needs to be an S here for the third person brother. brother. Next one. Mm -hmm. John buys some new clothes. So the passive is some new clothes. Clothes are bought. Is are bought. Are bought. Are bought. Are bought. Are bought. 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 Excellent. Okay, the family cleaned the house. The house is cleaned, cleaned by the family. Cleaned. 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 cleaned by the family. Okay. Uh huh. Wait, I lost my mouse here. Very good. It's cleaned by the family. Excellent. Next one. Mr. Chap places some flowers. Our passive? Some flowers are placed by Mr. Placed by Mr. Chan. Are placed, remember. Placed. Placed. Placed by Mr. Chan. Very good. Placed. Are placed by Mr. Chan. This is all about China, you see? Sally throws the old things. The old things are thrown by Sally. Are thrown by Sally. Are thrown by Sally. Excellent. Very good. Good job, guys. And the last one. I think this is the last one. Peter draws a car. A car is drawn by. Peter. I was drawn by Peter. Drawn? 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 The A O. Drawn? Uh -huh. Drawn? Drawn? Drawn by Peter. The car is drawn by Peter. It's the same pronunciation as the, the little things that fly in the sky, control with. So, like the drones, it's the same pronunciation. It's drawn. Uh -huh. Drawn. 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 A car is drawn by Peter. Very good. Good job, guys. And I think this one is the last one. Mr. and Mrs. Wu bake a cake. Okay. A cake is baked by, by Mr. and Mrs. Wu. A cake is baked. No, baked. 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 Aha, very good. Baked. Remember that there's no e, there's no e sound. That's that's because that's in Spanish. Uh huh. So it would be baked. A cake is baked by Mr. and Mrs. Wu. Okay, very good. Do you guys have any questions? Was this clear as water or clear as horchata? Did you guys understand this topic? Was it easy or difficult?